Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 1st to the 7th of March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading Taurus and pull your overarching energy for the week. I'm going to choose because this deck is a little bit chunky. Okay, what do we have for Taurus please? Angels, spirits, guides message for our lovely Torians. thank you for the week okay i've got the six of cups children or childhood revisiting old dreams or plans embarrass embracing your inner child the return of people or romances from your past romanticizing about how things used to be so we have the Six of Cups as your overarching energy there, Taurus. Okay. What do we have for Taurus, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Taurians. Thank you. Nice. We have number 15, Appreciation. So let me read that out to you. This is the energy deck. Okay, so appreciation, choosing gratitude. For me, this can also be about reasons to be thankful or someone appreciating you. This card shows a woman holding a single rose. She enjoys the scent and beauty of the single blossom. Yet around and behind her are bramble bushes. She could be focusing on these, worried that she might get caught up in their prickly branches of difficulty. Instead, she's pausing to experience the blessing of this single flower. The sun is breaking through the clouds, shining on her choice, on the tiny buds waiting to open. This card is telling you that you have much, great, much to be grateful for, and like the flowering bush behind the woman on the card, there is more to come that you can't see yet. Congratulate yourself for every moment that you choose appreciation. This decision shifts your consciousness from lack to value and it's guaranteed to bring more worth and richness to your life. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. What do we have for Taurus, please, angels? What is the message for Taurus? Thank you. Message for Taurus. Okay, so we have be assertive. I mean, this is somebody who will take the lead you know sometimes i see this as creative approaches original approaches and um, your ability to stand out so in whatever context that might resonate for some of you i'm definitely getting that energy with that be assertive okay so i'm going to pull three cards taurus and then we'll clarify and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you as always okay first card is out so first card your challenge we have the page of cups the knight of coins is advice from spirit very nice energy Taurus and we have the three of wands as your outcome lovely energy there okay What do we have for Taurus, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Taurians, thank you. Message for our lovely Taurians, thank you. Okay. So we have the Six of Coins, which is Taurus energy. The Three of Pentacles, Taurus, clarifies the Knight of Coins. Very nice indeed. And the Three of Wands is clarified with the Two of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands, male or female energy. The court cards, knights, kings, they're all male or female energy. Okay. So we have the Six of Cups, which can be to do with revisiting the past, 
or the past influencing the present in some way, some reconnection to the past. There's a kind of feeling here, Taurus, something hasn't quite come to fruition yet. And you're waiting. There's definitely this energy of waiting, but definitely an energy of, of be, keep being assertive. You know, the Six of Coins is all about where you place your energy to bring growth and value into your life. But it can be also a card of when you feel, in, I mean, sometimes it can be to do with um, financial challenges. It can be to do with not feeling that you have enough, not feeling... Um, th there can be a feeling of lack with the Six of Coins. Um can be in terms of your worth, can be in terms of mon monetary value. I mean, with the cards on the table, it feels to do with money and career here. Um, Page of Cups is an interesting one because it's almost kind of like something that's very close to your heart hasn't quite come to fruition yet. You know, sometimes there is this feeling in the challenge position um, Certainly with the pages of something hasn't quite blossomed yet. Something hasn't quite, it's in its infancy, you know, it's in its infancy. And there's definitely an energy of put your energy in the right direction now. Um, be careful of where you place your energy. We have law of attraction energy with that six of pentacles. What you put into something, you're going to get the reward back. And that's exactly what spirit is telling you. You know, the Page of Cups can be to do with creative opportunities, opportunities close to your heart, something that you absolutely really want. You know, it feels very beautiful here. So, very clearly, coins, coins, energy with the advice from spirit. Uh, there is the beginnings of success coming your way. Sometimes there's a feeling of stagnation with the Knight of Coins, but this is somebody will make you an offer and it's manifesting a new path with the Three of Coins. That could be in terms of a partnership or business partnership, business collaboration. It can also be to do with um, starting something yourself, maybe property development, taking advice where you need it from people who are you know, who will advise you well. So it can be an energy of taking advice to prioritize. Um, can also be a job, you know, that kind of energy, incoming money, something that you've been working hard towards. This can be clients, contracts, new business, job offers, the Knight of Coins. And it's generally something that you wait a while for, but when he comes in, he is solid. He is something that can be built on, stable, secure, something that generally is for the long term or a long period of time. So this Three of Coins is the beginnings of success is coming your way. Uh, it could be a new business, new organization, for some of you, feels very beautiful there. So that is the advice from Spirit. Keep going. That's what you're being told. Keep going to keep taking action because there is progress coming your way. You will see the first signs of success here and it will result in some kind of offer or an invitation here. Um, this is your ships are coming in. You can see them coming in. They're not quite there yet, but the offer is coming and that's what spirit is telling you it's absolutely coming here again the feeling of something being in its infancy and not quite ready to flower yet but you're it's interesting yeah focus you will have a reason to be thankful here she's holding that flower you know it's, it's definitely this kind of energy here keep going um it's coming your way some kind of offer or an invitation and with the King of Wands, you know, the King of Wands can be you back in your power, you taking the lead. This is an assertive energy, male or female, like I said. But this can also be a really magnetic leader, um, somebody who has vision, somebody who understands, who's driven, who takes action, who understands, who do, doesn't accept defeat. They keep going until they get what they want. You know, it's that kind of energy. So this is either you or somebody in your life. It could be somebody, Leo energy or Leo Aries Sagittarius. Uh, not limited to that. It can be the energies of that card. But it could be somebody offering you something. Now with some of you, 
It could be somebody that you've known from the past, you've worked with from the past. So definitely this kind of energy here, Taurus, of someone is bringing in some kind of solid opportunity, you know? Or this can be you reconnecting to your happiness again. What this is bringing to you is reconnecting to your happiness, appreciate who you are, you know, find your joy and everything else falls in line. But nevertheless, very beautiful energy. When the Knight of Coins appears, you know, it's a great sign of the change is coming. The change is coming, the beginnings of success don't stop. Okay, so I'm going to pull... Let me just grab the cards. Oh, I didn't put them on the table. One second. <laughs> okay, let me pull, pull a final fairy card. Final message for Taurus, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Final message for Taurus. Thank you. Yeah, we have pure intention. I mean, this is focus, isn't it? And that's that three of pentacles. Um, the fairy of manifestation will help you use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all. And it definitely feels for some of you, Taurus, you have the ability to make it happen. There is some kind of like, it's coming energy here. It's coming your way. Keep being assertive. Appreciate how far you've come. That could be look back at how far you've come and find joy in that. But I definitely feel in this energy, something is at its infancy, but it's resulting in some kind of offer, opportunity, contract, call it what you will. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Taurus. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.